favorite way to use ChatGBT 04 image generation is for editing. I find I like to create my images first in mid journey and then take it over here to ChatGBT and then I'll take it to Photoshop. Let me show you what I'm doing. So this is just one example. I'm going to be spending the next month deep diving into the different ways that we can actually use chat GPT for image generation. And then I'm going to create new lessons that's going to go into my AI photorealism course. So that way we can all learn how to use these things for your own brand. But here's what I learned so far. You can easily swap out clothes, which is amazing. I haven't done a full test of clothes that have a ton of detail. I'll make another video about that and we'll see where we are. But you can swap out clothes. Then you can try to keep the same model, the same composition of the e image. This is some of the language that I'm using. Prompting is still very important here, right? So I'm noticing that when I use different language, I get different results. So far, I'm liking this language. This is the results that I got from this image. She's really pretty. I feel like most of the image still looks very consistent with the original image. The t-shirt looks really good. The model's face has changed slightly. That's something to keep in mind that if you're trying to keep the same model, you're going to have to work a little bit harder. I've tested it in different chats, ChatGBT chats. There's different things that you can do, but it's something that's going to come up. So now I want to add a product because as you guys know, that's what I focus on, right? Realism for fashion and beauty and wellness, lifestyle brands, etc. like that. And a lot of that does include product work. So I asked to zoom out by 40%. Then I wanted to hold a specific product in the, in the model's hand, but I don't want to change the model or the composition of the image. And I still want to include light shadow texture and details. Now this is the product shop. I also created this in mid journey. So I think one of the key steps is you can use real images, but also if you're creating stuff for your brand, because ChatGBT only lets you create one image at a time, you will be here till you're old and gray. If you're starting here with creation and you're someone who's like artistic or you have a real like brand look and sensibilities and you need to see more options, go to Mid Journey first, then bring your finished images over here. But this is the product shot that I used and this is the results. Not bad, but I think it clearly looks like AI, right? But it actually got the product looking really right. It took some of that background from the product and put it in the background in the image, which was interesting. I didn't tell it to do that. It did that on its own, but I don't mind it. If you didn't like it, you could just say, hey, I want the same image. Just re remove the fluted whatever that went on the background. But like this was also key. I said it was too shiny and losing some of the photorealistic look. What changes can we make so the image looks more real? What's really cool about ChatGPT image generation that Midjourney doesn't have is that it is a chat. So you can talk to it and it can help you make these images look better with information and language that you may not know yourself. So it was like, bet, this is what you can do. We can tone down skin highlights. We can add more natural skin imperfections. We can balance the lighting. We can desaturate the color slightly. We can add henna product contact details. Like these are things that I would notice on my own and things that I normally talk about in the course and how you can do these one step by step, whether Photoshop or mid journey, depending on what you need to use. But I found this amazing that it's able to analyze what's wrong with the image. This is a a whole thing on its own where you could bring your AI um, images here and ask it to analyze it and see what's wrong with it. And it can either correct it here or you can correct it in mid journey, taking the details. Just a thought. So here's the first attempt at getting it to look more photorealistic using some of the edits. Then I asked for more edits. And here's the second attempt. You can see the skin looks more real. I like that. The coloring. Let's look at the hand. The fingers look pretty good. I would still take this out and do a lot of color grading after as well as film grain and different things on Photoshop. And the model looks different. They aged her. Um, so if you wanted it to be the original model, you would have to work with it to get it to age back, different things like that. But I feel like these results, especially it being through a chat GBT chat, are pretty, pretty great. And it can do text on the bottle. And finally, you can then now get the links, right? You can download the images that you created, which is awesome. Ask it to download me also a side-by-side -side comparison so I can see the differences. And here are the differences between the images when I first zoomed out and it looked more AI and the second one where it looks more real. Guys, this is something to learn. This is some stuff that I'm going to be talking about and adding to my courses. I'm also going to be launching a new membership 
um, paid membership community for those who are taking my courses because as we know, AI changes so fast and I just sometimes don't want to wait three months for me before I add a new lesson or things like that. Sometimes I just want to show things or talk about things same day and I'm going to be doing that for that community. So if you already have my course or you're about to buy the course, notice that's something that's coming up. Guys, we're doing marketing and creativity in the future. Follow for more.